that serve this state and uh, other labor organizations, so we just want to give them some recognition and say thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so my name is Giles Chaldon. Uh, I am a hip hop artist and battle MC for Middletown. I'm here to talk to you about my Acknowledge the Epidemic campaign, which I started in September 2017 as a program to raise awareness uh, for opioid addiction, isolation, and depression. In January 2017, first responders answered 52 overdose calls within a 32 hour period. Now, this isn't only a local problem. In the state of Kentucky from 2012 to 2016, over 5,800 people died from an opioid-related overdose. On October 26, 2017, President Trump declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency. At the forefront of the fight in the city is the Healing Place. Founded in 1989, it has a 77% rate of success for members remaining sober a year after completing the program. They are in the process of a $29 million multi-phase expansion and renovation. The stigma that most clinics develop leads the public to believe that tax dollars are allocated to fund such projects. The reality, that isn't the case. The Healing Place, by and large, maintains functionality through donations and volunteering. One of my best friends, one of my best friends Blake from middle school, passed away May 26, 2016. He was an incredible artist. So many capable, talented, thoughtful people have been lost to this sickness. I'm here to do my part to change everybody's misconception. For 10 weeks to end 2017, I spent every Thursday, including Thanksgiving, serving lunch and building relationships with people struggling with addiction on a daily basis. What I found was astounding. A genuine belief in a brighter future in a family-oriented environment that so many of these people have lacked for years. The Healing Place is the humble capital of Louisville. As part of Acknowledge the Epidemic, I visited the Kentucky Addiction Center in Winchester and took educational material to the Willie T. Library on the University of Kentucky campus. Education is our greatest defense in understanding how important and how capable we all truly are. I hosted the first annual Louisville Underground Appreciation Day, a skateboarding contest to promote self-confidence, and a toy drive where we were able to donate items to the Mother Infant Care Program at Louisville Catholic Charities. Uh, that program works with low-income drug-addicted mothers to teach them how to care for their children. I say all of that to say this. I've started a petition on change.org, which will be delivered to J.K. Knight and the board of the Forecastle Foundation the second week of March. Myself, along with various musicians and artists, propose we do a one-hour set dedicated to acknowledge the epidemic and to the lives of everyone lost through addiction. I will bring hip-hop, painting, poetry, and street culture from the Louisville Underground combined to convey a message of moderation, support, and love to attempt to restore Louisville. The impressionable, the impressionable youth will be there with their eyes and ears open, and it is up to us to show them what they need to see and speak goodness into their life of what they need to hear. I will be staying for the rest of the meeting, and I would love the support and action of the council members to sign my petition and join me on my journey. And anybody who sees this, please go to change.org, hashtag acknowledge the epidemic, and join us. For the next 23 weeks, I will be at the Healing Place around 1045. So reach out to me on social media, get involved, or at the very least, never give up. A guru once said, actions have reactions, don't be quick to judge. You may not know the hardship people don't speak of. It's best to sit back and observe with couth, because we all must meet our moment of truth. So acknowledge the epidemic Louisville, acknowledge the epidemic Forecastle, music, art, and activism. Thank you very much. Yes.